Coach Evans with Sip the Tyler Films, bringing you another episode of Ravens Roundup. And coming off this amazing defensive display of defense versus the Bengals, I am decided to stick on the defensive side of the ball this week. And we're going to preview a guy that really hadn't gotten much pub on this channel. Um, a fellow um, YouTuber, Joe Nubo, has re-nicknamed this guy. Coming out of college, he was called Sack Daddy because he broke uh, Terrell Suggs' college sack record. But in his first year and a half, two years, uh, Nubo has called him Pressure Daddy because that's all he seems to get in his limited playing time. Well, I think he had probably one of his best games as a pro Saturday, and I decided to highlight Jalen Ferguson today. Cue the music. All right, welcome back. Let's get into this uh, Jalen Ferguson film. But before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, please do so now. And when you hit the subscribe button, scroll right to the right of it, hit the bell notification, and click all. That way you can get these videos when they come out, whether it be 7 a.m., 6 p.m., 2, 3 a.m. in the morning. It's on you. But I appreciate all the support. We are pushing toward 5,000 toward the end of the season, and I appreciate everybody that's joined, um, subscribed, joined the Patreon, and just did all the support's been amazing. I love you guys. I appreciate it. But with all that out the way, let's get into the film. All right, let's highlight Jalen right here. This is Ferguson right there. So again, if you knew, you know I'm gonna let it run through. See what happens, then come back and talk about it. Good job of keeping the shoulders square. That's how you play inside zone right there. That's that's textbook on how you if you're a young defensive end, that's textbook on that's textbook on how you do it. Again, Ferg is right here. So the coaching for this is when you're playing inside when you the backside in on inside zone. You can't just fly in there and try to, my bad. You can't just fly in there and try to run down the the ball carrier. Quarterback will pull it and go out the back door. All right? Then you can't just kind of stay wide. The quarterback will give it, and the running back can kind of squeeze right through there and get on up the field. So you got to kind of slide down with and squeeze, so to speak, with the tackle. Keep your shoulders square so you can see what's going on. And once you know the ball is definitely handed off, then you're going to make the play. And what you're about to see is that done to a T by Ferguson. Squeeze with the tackle. Shoulder square. Shoulder square for the most part. Now, he know he know for sure Mixon has the ball. Look at that. Look at that perfect running form. High knee. Cheek to cheek. Great running form. Get you a tackle. I would have rather him, you know, drive his feet and not just jump on the catch. But great, great, so to, you know, great technique, so to speak. All right, let's go on to the second play. Let's see, I think Ferg's at the bottom down here this time. I think this is him right here. That's Ferg right there. Uh, take it on a puller. Okay. Okay, take it on the puller. Not letting the puller get to him. He he bringing it to the puller. Bringing it to him. This is Ferg right here. They're running power maybe? What they're running? It's some version of power, but they're kicking out the guy. It's some version of it. But his eyes are on this mesh point at the time. Now, when does his eyes transfer to the puller and see him? So now you see him. And instead so of just staying there, I'm going to bring it to you, buddy. Bangs the puller. Extends. Running back right in his face. Now finish. Finish by making the tackle. So basically, he spilled the play then when he made the tackle himself. A lot of times when defensive linemen spill, they're spilling it to linebackers, to faster guys like here. And here they're trying to make it bounce, so to speak. Trying to make it bounce outside so these fast guys can run it down. But he made it bounce and still had enough wherewithal to make the tackle. Which is good by Ferg. See if we can get up here. He's going to spill it and make it bounce. And it's going to bounce right to him. Take on that puller. Don't let him kick you out. 
Don't let him kick you out. Close the space. Close the space. Good job of closing the space. Now, even if Mixon didn't bounce this, where could he go? There's no hole there. Wolf did his job. Queen feeling right there. Uh, Fur condensed the he condensed the gap. And now he's spilling it to Peters, but he gonna make the tackle himself. It's a good technique on two good plays by uh, Ferguson. Great technique. This is a perfect time to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks. Let's see what Ferg at the top now. He's at the top. That's Ferg right there. Same thing again. Same as the first play. Squeeze down with the, the tackle. When you're sure the ball is handed off. There's a toss. So he see the ball being tossed away to him. Now pursue. Pursue. Come under control. Make the tackle. He didn't overrun it. I mean, he ain't doing nothing spectacular. He's just doing his job. With great technique. Doing his job with great technique. The toss away from him. He know the ball is going to the running back. There's no reverse threat coming because he has, he still, even though the ball is going away, he still has to contain. So if there, were, if there were some kind of reverse coming, it's his fault to contain it and make it go inside. His job, I'm sorry, not his fault, his job. But there's no threat of that. Come on down the line, make the tackle. Great fundamental football, man. That's what that is, great fundamental football. Ferg right here is at the bottom. Right there. Dropping in the coverage. Playing the flats. Look at that. Dropping in the flats. <laughs> I ain't think he could do that. I really didn't think he could do that. Let's see what his hips look like. See what his hips look like singing up out of that. Uh, not the shiftiest, but good enough. Get a minimal gain, like two yards maybe. Good job, Ferg. Good job. Last play right here. This is the, I think it's the last one that I got. Ferg is right here at the top, I think. I think that's him. I could be wrong on that one. Again, same, all five plays, the same thing. Doing his job. He has C-gap. Stuff goes away from him. You condense C-gap and make sure nothing can get outside you. And coming back, the toss again. He see he know the ball tossed. There's no reverse threat. Come on down, close the gap off, make the tackle. Great fundamentals by a guy that's almost been invisible. You know, for two. This is his second year on the team. Maybe it's third. I think it's his second. But you know, almost been invisible. So this is a, a step in progression for Ferguson. Because last year he couldn't even get on the field. Now he's on the field. And doing his job. So the next step is to, you know, we talked about him needing to develop something other than that bull rush. We don't know if he got some kind of pass rush moves he's developed since then because they weren't shown in this film. And um, we didn't see him in past situations. We saw him in run situations where he was running the ball down from the backside, which is great. So, um, you know, the progression of Jalen Ferguson. Next thing we see now is, you know, can he play every down? Can he be an every down outside linebacker? Can he set the edge, which that was a great example of him setting the edge. Can he rush the passer? That's yet to be seen. Can he drop in coverage? He did on one play. He did on one play. But uh, this is Coach Evans. You know, I'm going to get on up out of here. This is uh, Ravens Roundup. Jalen Ferguson, the once sack daddy, now pressure daddy, as Joe Nubo said. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. With the with the